Lord have mercy, he got swung on. I don't know. It was my alter ego. He got swung <laughs> on. I almost got tased. You know, it was it was great. What's your alter ego? What happened at Wake County? It sounds spicy. I want to know. Mm, it's tough to think back on that track. <laughs> Anytime him and me are together, there's a threat of somebody possibly getting hurt or doing something stupid. So I'm, I'm all for beating and banging, believe me. Everybody that I've raised with will agree with that 100%. But, you know, just there's a time and a place for it. We're getting ready to start a podcast called The Bean Pod soon. Oh, do so, it, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. If, okay. you, if you don't sit in beanbag chairs for this yeah, podcast, okay, you, have like, you have to. Have to. Beanbag chairs, <laughs> that's, Waffle House that's to brilliant. go. That's brilliant. Waffle, <laughs> house, <laughs> waffle in my lap. A little bit. Of, there's a little bit of swagger that comes with the mini right. bikes. Yeah. Uh, a few of my fellow competitors have them. Some of them pull it off great. Some of them don't deserve to be on one. <laughs> this is okay. fancy. Yeah, fancy. You like the couch? The couch, and I can hear myself. On well, my Dad? podcast at home, I just talk into the mic. I can't even hear myself. This is the baddest wow. racetrack we go to. I feel like it's fast. It's three grooves, and it's very unforgiving. Mm. Mm. Damn. Right. That sounds like a commercial. Track addicts. Track, track addicts. addicts. Yeah. yeah. Make so. sure you rate us five stars. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Right. That's fire. Oh. Welcome to Track Addicts Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name of AJ the Menace, and I have my lovely co-host with me. Jacqueline Drake. Hey. Hey, y'all. And we're here. And, you know, uh, this was a uh, immaculate conception. You know, it was uh, something that just, it just fell, it fell in place. All right, let, let, let me just be real with y'all. We're recording this. We've done, we did the show already. The show is done. This is the, so this is the show is done. We're just redoing it because we had a lot of technical difficulties in the beginning. Y'all know how it is. Um, you know, with the beauty of editing, editing, I could just uh, take that out, put it everywhere we need it to be. But how did you feel about uh, everything that they're about to see coming up? Oh, you are about to see a, a good variation of interviews uh, yeah. from so many different drivers that have been with the series uh, for several years and then a few that are new to the series. Right. Um, the Cars Tour, if there's one thing, they have a variety of personalities and race car drivers that right. will keep you entertained right. um, with their on-track action and then everything they're doing because Keep in mind, this is the beginning start for some of these drivers, so uh, they still got jobs. They're still doing stuff back at home, so right, right. They have plenty to talk about. Yeah, and you might recognize some of them too. That's a surprise for later in the episode. Uh, if you're a Twitter user, <clears throat> you might recognize some of these people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's a surprise for later, but yeah, I thought it was interesting. I mean, the interviews were dope. They were in and out, but they were all real informative as well too. Um, since, I mean, let's say it's now. I mean, this is the first time we worked together. I feel like we did great together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I thought it went great. I did have questions and stuff, like, uh, set up for us or we can go through. I don't know when they're about to start. I don't know if we should go through some. Maybe we should go through some of them. Yeah, I, I, think got, be I have, like, um, probably 10 minutes, and then I got to get ready oh, for yeah. the broadcast. Yeah, yeah, facts. But, yeah, yeah, let's. All right, so, first of all, before we get into it, uh, just let everybody you give everybody a little idea of who you are. If anybody who's associated with cars, they definitely know who you are. But like my audience has no idea who you are, you know, and the cars audience doesn't have any idea who I am. So just give us a little background about who you are and what your involvement is and everything. Yeah, um, I've been around the block uh, <laughs> when it comes to racing. I grew up around racing. My dad was a driver. My mom was a driver. So. Um, you, you raced for 13 years. I raced, yeah, for my whole life, essentially, until I went off to college. Okay. And uh, my brother also raced. So whenever I graduated from high school and I decided I want to jump in and um, still be involved with motorsports, even if I wasn't in the driver's seat, I started right. doing marketing. And I relocated to North Carolina from Texas. So okay. I started uh, working in the sport. I worked with a lot of the different teams. Um throughout Cub um, and doing different marketing roles. So my right. first job with the car store, I was event marketing manager here for seven years. And then I also started doing on-air reporting. And gotcha. then from there, um, I was picked up by NASCAR and I've been with them full-time for two years. I go to about 30 races a year, the car store, I pit report half of the season here. Mm. Um, I've had a podcast just on late models exclusively. It was called Sealed Off. I've had I Instagram listened to episode, shows. I listened to episode 25 today. Did you? Yep, I did. I think that was like our last one, Yeah, it? it was. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, before was. COVID hit, yep, shut yep. us all down. <laughs> yep, I listened to that one today. Um, so yeah, I, I've been around this my whole life. I love race cars yeah. um, and anything that has to do with motorsports. So. 
that's kind of where I come from. A lot of people, obviously, um, a woman so a lot of people they see me and without knowing my story they're just like oh we got another gal up there doesn't know anything right. i'm just like no i promise i've been here for probably no more than you yeah um, yeah for so, sure um but yeah i thank you so much for having me here on this for sure like, yeah. uh, asking me to co-host it with you and have me on this podcast uh, i love getting to sit down and get the real stories yeah and yeah it worked getting out to know you too yeah man so uh for me i've been doing all sorts of production things for the longest. Me and my man, Lauren, who's the one that's pretty much controlling everything from the background for us, making sure we sound and we look good. We met in college. Uh, we started with doing like rap music. Um, then just being independent rappers, you need photo shoots, music videos, and things of that mm -hmm. nature. So we taught and learned how to do everything for ourselves because we were broke college kids. Mm -hmm. And then continue from there. And then when I stopped doing music, I was like, how do I stay relevant? and not drop music and i was like oh podcast seemed easy it seemed easy and then i started doing podcasts every week i'm probably six years into doing podcasting uh we met cypher projects about four years ago so that's how the connection with us came together and then we came on a music front together but it's turned into more than that you know we're family you know so whether it be putting a live podcast on doing a music video shoot we'll do anything menace material do anything production wise so if you have a vision, we'll help, cool. we'll help bring it come true. And yeah, we've been doing that and we've been growing ever since. And then like uh, for us and for me, especially like just this year and these last like eight months, like our YouTube has really like taken off. So we um, started a podcast network. So not only is Track Addicts gonna be something that people can find, it's Homeroom University, the 3 -0 podcast, LOI The Show. So we have, I got personalities underneath the Menace Material brand as well too. So we just been growing out the brand and the podcast network and pretty much doing anything that we want. We're making a movie right now. So grinding it out. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it's all it's grind season over in the, at, yeah. at Menace Land, you know? So yeah. yeah, so that's all we do. That's cool. But uh yeah. I, lo I, I love it. I like yeah. to hear just how like people get involved and stuff and how they can go from that point and expand it into all these other cool projects and right. before you know it you're you look back, you're like Dang, I can't believe how oh much I've done in a short period of time. It's legit. a blur. Yeah, legit. Like every so often when we're trying to do like some sort of like promo, self promo for whether it be like Instagram or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. put a reel together. And it's like me and Lauren will just sit at the computer like, yeah, let's go through like what we did in 2020. And we're like, damn, man, we're at like 20 minutes. Like yeah. we got to cut this down. Yeah. Like just put the highlights in there. It's so <laughs> much has passed, you know? Um, but then I, I looked up online and I created some of these myself too, but some of these are just like, they're just like random questions you can ask people. All right. Just to just like, see, I was gonna ask you Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, but I found out after <laughs> listening to episode 25, you don't like coffee at, at all. You like the okay, smell. Okay, a lot has changed since then. Talk to me, Dunkin', uh, or, Dun, Dun, Dunkin or Starbucks? So um, I like Starbucks. I think Duncan is trash. I'm sorry. What? I like Jeez. I like the munchkins, but the coffee is not good. Um I I'm sorry. It's just not like I think the coffee tastes better. That's me. Uh, I'm I'm Duncan's. I well, I mean, I thought we would be friends, but you know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I'll say overall cleanliness one is more supreme than the other, but yeah. in terms of flavor, it's Duncan all the it's way. It's funny but. though that you brought up like how I said I didn't like coffee in that podcast because that was literally 3 years ago and it yeah. wasn't until a year ago that I started liking coffee and now i have an espresso machine at my house oh you went it, yeah, i'm not even there yet yeah i i didn't have a coffee machine um i heard that like the espresso machine was the way to go so i just went to best buy and, and bought it and it was really expensive right yeah. but it's delicious and so now you're really drinking coffee. that's crazy yeah so, so yeah. now i drink it not i don't drink it um black though like i have to do the milk and i make a latte i make a latte got you okay yeah, okay and that's really extra for no reason but yeah <laughs> true but yeah it's, it's how it's how you like it um let's see uh i'm looking at your questions now go ahead uh let's we got a couple minutes. Perfect. I don't know if y'all can hear that in the background. It, obviously, there's always background things you can hear around oh, yeah. here. I got one for you. When I was looking through these questions. Go ahead. Mark it off, um, too, when you, when you say it. What's the worst smell? Like, what do you consider the worst smell? I don't know what the worst smell is. Just because it's like, I don't want to say the obvious. You know what I mean? But I'll say something that I hate the smell of. Is I hate the smell of cold spaghetti sauce. 
I despise it. Oh. I love spaghetti, but for some reason, cold spaghetti sauce, like fresh out the refrigerator, yeah. it's the it's it's the, it's terrible. For That's me. very distinct. It is, and it's nothing smells like it to me. Oh, it, I, it's terrible. Mm. I think I, for me, it's terrible. Yeah. My friend will eat it cold, and I think he's like, "That's like serial killer." Yeah, I don't. Amazing. I don't like that. That's crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? But like cold pasta too. Yeah, like that, yeah that's crazy. Like, what are we doing? It's a sauce. Heat it up. You know what I yeah. mean? But heat up the noodles. Yeah. What's the worst smell for you? Honestly, I I I had recently uh, smelled a battery burning, oh, like wow. a race. It was a race car battery, and the it car caught, caught, it caught fire? the battery caught on fire, and it was horrible. It was horrible. Like I mean. Uh, the obvious of like what smells bad porta potties right yeah right but, <laughs> yeah like, so i don't want to do the obvious yeah, yeah that's too but easy but a burnt battery a burnt battery is awful that's probably it's also that's, really toxic yeah so, i was about to yeah. say and that's probably that smell that like if you get in the smoke it's stuck in your clothes you know what i mean yeah, like it wasn't good it wasn't good yeah let's see like one of these i wanted to ask what guinness book of war record do you think you can break see i think i could break a lot because there's a, I think there's some low hanging fruit Guinness Book of World Records. I yeah. don't know exactly which ones I could break, but if I look at like the oddball ones, like maybe like the longest standing or just standing up or sitting down. Mm. You know what I mean? Like there's like stupid Guinness Book of World Record ones in yeah. there that I might be able to break. I just don't know which. I don't know off the top of my head. Now I'm trying to think, like. What would it be? That's hard. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I feel like you have to like know all the rules in order to even answer yeah. that question effectively. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. All right. Hit us with one more. All there right. We'll go. do one more. Um, does pineapple lo- belong on pizza? You know, some people think that so religiously about that. Like, no. They do. Yeah. It's, it's I serious. Do, in some I don't really world. care. I don't eat it. I don't like pineapple at all. Oh, but wow. I don't care that it's on pizza. Right. Does yeah. it matter that it's on pizza? I, what do you think? I like pineapple, but I don't think it belongs on pizza. Oh, oh, so you think, like, absolutely not. But I don't have a strong opinion on it. Like, you know, some people, you know, like, online, like, they're, they're willing angry. to die over that. Yeah, yeah, they're willing to die over that opinion. I could yeah. care less. I don't think I'm willing you know, to I'm die gonna, over pineapple. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going to skip over the question. Like, I'm skipping over the pizza. Yeah. But it's like, knock yourself out. Just you know take what I mean? it off, right? Like, nah, like, just because pineapple's too juicy. So it's like, oh, it's even hot. if you take it off, yeah. you're still going to taste it. You might as well have eaten a pineapple. At do that you point. like pepperoni? I like pepperoni. You do? Yeah, I do. I don't like pepperoni. Really? Yeah, like, I mean, I don't care if it's on pizza. I'll just take it off. But I don't like pepperoni. It's similar. Like, it has all the juices. Like, yeah. yeah. I went to school with a kid whose mom used to pack up pepperoni sticks. Kind of like uh, Ricky and... Um, How do you, what's a pepperoni stick? Like pepperoni is in like a... It's like a stick. And then they just... The slices oh. of the... But his mom would just like pack him just the pepperoni just... Like cut? Just it. Just minus the slices. Just cut. Yeah. Just kind of like kind of like Ricky on Trailer Park Boys. Legit. Legit. Crazy. Like... But hey, people do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, look. I actually do that with um, some type... Like salami. Yeah, like... If it's on a, you know, if it's on a, uh, what is it, the board? What's the board called? Charcuterie. It, charcuterie board. I'm down with a good charcuterie yes. board. You know what I'm saying? But Same. But, yeah, check out the rest of these interviews that we do. Um, make sure you keep up with us. Obviously, there's going to be, like, our links in the description and stuff. But let everybody know where they can find you and keep in contact outside of the cars, you know, on your Instagram and stuff. Yeah, you can follow me on uh, the one and only JKD. That's um, on Twitter, X. Or yeah. Instagram and I actually TikTok a lot. Okay. I like to TikTok. Um, I'll put a lot of like fun behind the scenes stuff. So yeah. check me out, follow along. It's been a journey so far. I'm looking forward to where it all goes. Yeah. Um, and it was nice meeting you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, hopefully we do it yeah. again uh, next season because it's the last season of the. Uh, There's this is the one last more race. Ra- yeah. There's one more after yeah. this. Okay. Yeah. And then you can follow me anywhere on The Menace, number four, real. Mm-hmm. Um, or Menace Material Entertainment on YouTube because that's where we're really spending the most time at. So, well, joining us right now here on the podcast, we have <laughs> Miss Katie Hedinger. First yeah. off, thank you so much for uh, holding out throughout <laughs> all of our power issues. Yeah, yeah, we're we're going through more than uh, you know. It, it, we're we're just giving too much energy to the system, and it's like, hold up, slow down, you know. So, but we're back. How you feeling today for the race? Uh, I'm feeling really good. You know, usually uh, me and the ACR team, we're not the best here at Tri-County. It's a really fun track. We just 
haven't been able to seem to figure it out yet. So um, we've been here for the past two days. We finally found some speed. Um, we were fastest the past two days here. So um, we're pretty good today. We did have the best tires on, but I'm still really happy with our car. That's good. That's good. Katie, um, this year you have driven not only pro late models, but you've driven a lot of other types of race cars. You've been racing dirt in the week at Millbridge. How has it been just adjusting from going to all these different disciplines of race cars? Uh, it's definitely different for each one, you know, different driving styles, especially the asphalt um, to the dirt. But it's a lot of fun just getting my feet wet and everything because cup is my overall goal so there's all different kinds of tracks on that so hopefully just everything will help each other out normally when you come to tri-county you said that you have issues trying to catch the speed uh what do you think what do you think changed to where you're able to figure it out this time to where just the last two days you've been practicing has been going a lot better uh so we were here thursday and my car owner anthony got in the car for a little bit so i think that just helps setup wise um, help us get ready so we're not struggling all day right. um, and everything and we have two different different we have two different driving styles a little bit but um, I still think his feedback and my feedback both helped each other and then I think we just figured it out you know we all just worked we had a really good setup coming in here now um, and we kind of just focused like laser focused in on right, everything. Right, right. And you said this is like the second or third time you've been here? Yeah, this is the third time the this third year, time. so we've had a lot of tri county. Yeah, right, year. right, right. There's yeah. A lot, a lot of laps around this place. It's fast here, too. They can really dive off into the corners. Do you like a track like that? Oh, yeah. I love the banking here, especially that wide arc into both corners. Um, it's a lot of fun, especially today we were a little loose on entry, so it freaked me out a bit, but we got her tightened up, and so there's a lot of grip on the track, on yeah. the top here. Yeah. What do, you, what do you have fun doing more, asphalt or dirt? The dirt's dirt? fun to just, That's like, rip around on because, yeah. you know, I'm not trying to go pro in dirt, and so you can just go out it's there like, and have fun. You're just but, out there freestyling almost. Oh, yeah, yeah but yeah, that yeah. first flip, you know, you're a little, like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, everything's fun in games until you flip over one time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta just get behind one of these cars. I'd rather do dirt though. I don't want to mess with the asphalt. I'd rather do the, do a couple donuts, you know, flip the car one time, you know. Yeah, we need, to, we need to get you in one of those we micros do. at Millbridge. <laughs> you know, just getting in and out the car, I didn't realize just what a skill that was in general. Yeah. I was like, I need to do yoga before I even just like start getting in and out these joints, because there's no door. You're climbing through the window. It's, I don't know if I'm built for that. You know. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, you talk about how you want to go to Cup. What are your thoughts for next year? Like, how, what's your next step to make that goal happen for you? Uh, you know, we really wanted to do ARCA this year. Um, I ran a couple races last year, and they were a lot of fun. But um, we wanted to try and do that this year, and just things didn't plan out. But working this year with ACR has been a huge step. Um, working with a really good team and everything and then I think next year we're still gonna focus more on the short track stuff um, Just because my age restricts me so much. I can't really run the big tracks till I'm 18 So yeah, um, probably stick with short track stuff late mall stock get back in those pros Dirt some more just stuff like that and then uh, maybe Arco the following year So rewind a little bit AJ. Yeah. Katie was before this year, she was racing regularly at Hickory Motor Speedway. Ah. Um, she won so many races there. And then now is with a team that travels around in the tour, going to all these different tracks. So your driving style has really enhanced and you've been able to try out so many different tracks and different strategies. Is there a particular place that you really like? Like when you go to the calendar and you're like, yeah, yes, what's your favorite this track? Is the track? Yeah, yeah. And you can't say um, Hickory. You can't say Hickory. <laughs> I feel like this year, like, Wake County, that was a mess. But that's I our, feel like that's it was our home a fun track, track right there. Yeah, like, that's our I home track. I feel like it was a fun track to go to. Like, I mean. And it's the bull ring. Yeah. You really Every, like Everyone knows was. what happened at Wake County. But Wake County was pretty fun. I really wish, though, we went back to Motor Mile. Like, oh, Motor Mile is probably one of my favorite tracks. We went there last year, but Wake County was fun. Yeah, Why what is happened, it? What happened at Wake County? It sounds spicy. I want to know. Mmm. It's tough to think back on that track. Let's just say that. <laughs> Some things are better in the past. Right, 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 right. right. Um, Wake County, so how, Wake County's our home track, actually. That's the one that's like seven minutes from my house. But um, 
how many tracks like how much traveling are you actually doing like how is it all is it outside of north carolina as well too or yeah all? so we i used to live in michigan so that was like oh. a long haul okay, so, but yeah, yeah. we moved to north carolina so like this track's only an hour hickory's half hour yeah. wakes like two hours or something so like yeah. they're all like within those three hour drive within the three hour range yeah. I, okay. I love how you looked at your dad because he's the one that does the he's the one that's driving the right dad's driving so you're sleeping are you in the front seat sleeping or in the back front seat we were right. recliner all the way back <laughs> do you have a pillow do you oh bring, yeah. yeah pillow blanket <laughs> that's the way to go shoes. if you road trip i highly recommend pillow and blanket and it just changes the game oh yeah, yeah. I, I drive race cars i need to be the passenger princess on the way there right right that's true dad's dad's looking away he's like i'm not gonna say anything <laughs> he's like all these miles i put on this truck <laughs> Cool. So, Motor yeah. Mile is your favorite. Why is that your, like, you wish that you could go to other than Wake? Like, why do you want to go to Motor Mile again? Uh, probably because we almost won there last year, but also just the banking. Like, I love when we, we tested there before Martinsville uh, with Forrest Reynolds, and that, I just had fun going back there, you know. We've tested a couple different cars there just because the banking and everything, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting to hear you say that. Like, you like banking, but you also like the bull rings. So I feel like as you progress, you would really like Bristol, right? I want to go there. Like, I cannot wait to go to Bristol. That is the track I cannot wait for. Because there's Anderson Speedway in Indiana, and that's small banks track. So I yeah. pretty much love those tracks. Right, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I think uh, I think we're going to wrap everything up, and yeah. then we're going to get over because we have to get to the next week. But we, we do wish you the best of luck today, though. This third time's a charm at the end of the day. So I got faith in you that you're going to knock it out. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll just move on. So, oh, let everybody know where they can find you, though. That's the most important thing as well, so they can keep keep up with you. Yeah, pretty much all my social media is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Katie Hettinger. Um, and then merch is katiehettingerstore.com. Okay, perfect. Right. Definitely hit that merch up, too, for sure. Yeah. Thank you, Katie, and for joining us. We thank you for sitting down. Yeah, thanks for having me. Most definitely. Have a good one, all right? Good luck. All right, that was Miss Katie Hettinger. She's the only female in the field as really? well in the Cars Tour, yes. Okay. She kicks butt. She hey, kicks well, butt. I hope she wins now. You know, if she's the only female. Let's go. Up next on our schedule is Brandon Pierce. Gotcha. Is he Mr. Here? Brandon Pierce, come on down, number two. Come on down. You got two waters. <laughs> Staying extra hydrated, huh? Brandon is a, a an athlete on the side with his really? training. Tell tell AJ about your training yeah, back home that you do. Yeah, uh, it's I'm not gonna lie. So uh, I got married last year. Congratulations. So, uh, that that has uh, I've definitely kind of slowly transitioned into that life, of not being as uh, strict about it. But uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it was it was pretty intense there for a while. So uh, what kind of training? Just uh, lots of miles, working out pretty much every day, uh, run, run in the heat that we race in. You know, I'd leave 90 degree weather, go run 8, 10 miles. So, what? Uh, got down to uh, about 160 pounds. I'm back up to about 175 now. So. Were you doing all that in main preparation for the wedding or is it just like this no, is the lifestyle no. you've always lived? Yeah, no, I, I had, I went through a pretty big weight transition from like 2018 to 2020, lost 62 I'm, pounds. So. <laughs> Damn, boy. Congrats, no, uh, bro. I'm, I'm only down 13, but I'm hey, getting there. Every every pound counts, man. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, man. Congrats. If you ever go down to his trailer on race day, he like has his grilled chicken and broccoli down there. Oh, you there. got the meal prep and everything? Yeah. Yes, he's like meal prepping. He stinks up the whole trailer because of it. Because <laughs> like, of the broccoli? Yeah. The Brussels, or Brussels sprouts? Yeah. Is that what you had last time? Yeah, so uh, I still do that even to this day. Like I said, uh, <laughs> definitely a little, little more lax, but I'm still training and yeah. uh, I still eat pretty strict i mean i i do the what i like to call the 80 20 now i, I eat 80 percent strict 20 percent right. what i want so. right yeah shoot man i need to start kicking it with you man i need to start speeding up my progress over here you know so but yeah go ahead brandon's been with the tour since the inception yeah i ran my first uh, car store race uh, at south boston in 2017 which was the last race of the year okay and then came on full time in 2018 and and this is what i've called home ever since so uh you know for me I made a decision and and so did my family that you know we wanted to race against the best and and that's where you know the car stores where that's at so uh every year it, it progresses and the competition gets stronger and the fields get bigger and you know we've even had cars go home so uh right you know it's it's definitely the the premier late model series and uh you know just glad to be a part of it 
how how have your practice laps been? Uh, the, have you been here the last two days as well? I have, yeah. Okay, yeah. How you been doing practicing? Uh, I've struggled a little bit here since the repave. Uh, yeah. I've really enjoyed it uh, back when it was old asphalt, but you know it's just part of the times. You know, if, if we want to keep racing at these places, you know, to keep them around sooner or later, they they have to, you know, get repaved. So uh, right, right. I. Uh, I've struggled a little bit, but uh, car's been pretty good today. Uh, put down a decent lap on our mock run, so uh, as I like to say, though, we'll see if uh, we can make it count here in a couple of hours when it matters. True, yeah, and that's really all that matters. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, in your time with the Cars Tour, do you look back and you're like, man, I, I wish that I would have had a better beard in the beginning years? <laughs> uh, no, you know what? I mean, I got to tip my cap to my good buddy Sam back here. I mean, me and McCarty, ever since I came into this, I mean, I've had facial Bobby hair. Is, Bobby is he's rubbing got, his beard he's, looking he's, at you right now. He's, right, got, right, right. he's got me beat, but he's also got about five years on me. So, I mean, that also helps, too. So. You had, to, you had you? to pull the age card. No, no, he's not old by any means. Okay, okay. But uh, I would he's say for my age, I, was, I actually just shaved last night. I mean, I trimmed it up. So You it cannot was. call him old. He's younger than me. So mm. Well, true. Mm. That's true. <laughs> he got some pretty strong beards out here, man. I, you know. We got some pretty strong beards out here. Try to keep the car looking good and yeah. facial hair game good as well. That's facts, yeah. So this is your home track? No, uh, my home track would probably be South Austin, honestly, uh, and mainly just because that's where I, I got my career started. Uh, gotcha. I ran there full time my first two years and and uh, and still go back there uh, every you know as much as we can. And, and my longtime sponsor, Thunder Road Harley Davidson, they have the big triple crown race there every year. They've been sponsoring that for a long time now. So gotcha. um, that would probably be my home track. My favorite track is Orange County Speedway, by far. It's not even close. Dang, um, you like so, it like that? I miss yeah. Orange County. What do you? It's gone. Well, oh. it's still there, but the tour doesn't. The car tour County doesn't anymore. go there. Yeah, yeah. got gotcha. you. Do yeah. you ever go over there? Because you're part of Cars now, though. Yeah. So do you ever go over there? Just like hey, let's just kick it over at Orange County. Yeah, we uh, we tested there two years ago, and then actually uh, Stephen Dunn had his the same race that they ran there last week last year. Gotcha. Uh, so we didn't run it this year, just uh, kind of in a pinch, uh, only down to one car after our wreck at Martinsville and trying to get it back together for here. So uh, I didn't run it this year, but uh, I've heard some rumblings. We may be going back there. I would love to go back. Uh, on the tour, uh, but if not, you know, anytime we can make it over there, we try to. Right, yeah. I got to check out. I haven't been in that one. You would like it. When, would. when the tour used to go to it, we called it the Orange Blossom, and if you won, you would drink orange juice in Victory Lane, but <laughs> the thing was, it was always so hot outside, Ugh. so by the time they got the orange juice, it was warm orange juice. It wasn't necessarily it was that acid. good. It was acid pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, it was, it looks good in the photos. I don't think it tastes very good. Yeah, though. I was about to say, the photos are probably fire, but yeah. the stickiness afterwards yeah. and the acid going down is probably not that great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Brandon, uh, before we let you go, where can people find you and follow you and all the things? Yeah, uh, my Twitter's at uh, bpierce354, uh, Brandon Pierce Racing on Facebook. Uh, also, I do have merch here. You can go see my smoking hot wife over in turns one and two. Woo -woo. That's right. Uh, she's selling yeah. over at... Uh, it's got about three different names. It's honestly just me and uh, Dylan Wilson's, uh, I don't know, can, I, can we cuss on here? No. Oh, yeah, that's Shit Shack. Is, I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> and you guys have your own podcast, too. They can yeah. listen in. Uh, or, big oh, time. Yeah, definitely drop that, man. Dylan and I, uh, we film every now and then when we can match schedules. Uh, gotcha. Which is more so just whenever Dylan tells me he wants to do it. So uh, big time auto racing. We've had fun with that. We started doing that this year. Just you know, wanting to kind of have fun outside of the racetrack, and yeah. we don't we don't talk about all racing on there. I mean, it's that's the main Sometimes topic of discussion, though, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, anytime him and me are together, there's a threat of somebody possibly getting hurt or doing something stupid. So, uh, but we have a good time, and uh, you know, we've really enjoyed it, and uh, just trying to live life and enjoy it. Ain't gonna be able to do this forever. So while I'm trying or while I'm able to, I'm gonna enjoy You're it. Gonna do it, yeah. Hey, that's I'm, one way to look at it. I'm definitely tapping into that podcast. That sounds that sounds dope. But, yeah, uh, we appreciate you sitting down, giving us a couple minutes, man. Uh, I wish you the best of luck today as well, too. It was a Thank pleasure you. meeting you, too. Thank man. you guys for having me. Most appreciate definitely. it. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. All right, up next on our list, yeah. good luck, is going to be our three-time champion, Bobby McCarty. Yeah. Woo -woo. Make some noise for Bobby. I feel like I should start announcing your names like a wrestler, right? Yeah, you like need to. Bobby McCarty. Like I watched. I don't uh, think people ever like. Not everyone loves that, but like maybe I should, right? Everybody <laughs> loves it. It's just some people. Everybody loves it. You know what I'm saying? Do you it's, like it if I say your name like that versus? I don't care. Okay. okay. No. He's it's, like just say fine. just yeah. just get it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't put an H in my last name, and we're good because everybody does it. McCarty. McCarty. McCarthy. 
Oh, McCarthy? Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've ever done that. Yeah. But you know, there's like some, it seems like some people's last names, people just like to add extra letters to them. Or if it's close yeah. to something, like my I've mom. Done that. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that, you know, but. But how you feeling today, though? You're three-time champion. Yeah. Um, I feel good, man. We we have a good race trim car. I'm, I'm kind of concerned about qualifying. Um, but I've been happy with the long run speed. So yeah. uh, I normally screw qualifying up. So if if we come out <laughs> qualifying top seven, I think we'll be okay. Let, okay. Me, let, me, just say, let me just say something about this man right here. Okay, I've been reporting yeah. on you for a really long time. Every time he says, yeah, I don't feel good about about qualifying every single time he he gets on the pole or sets the track record yeah. it never fails you're like yeah i don't feel the grace about qualifying and then he sits on the pole and i go over to interview him, i'm like yes you didn't feel good about qualifying. yeah right. but that's like what has that been three times out of this whole year out of 20 races like my my no, uh, my percentages there are awful I don't know. When you feel like you're going to be really bad, you always he's turn humble, around. He's humble, though. He's humble. I understand where he's coming nah, from. It's like, I don't know, man. He's like, he's like, I do this, but, you know, we struggled a little bit, but I'm, <laughs> you know, I don't want to just go too crazy on the mic. Yeah, I'd rather, I, well, I'd rather I mean, get behind the wheel. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm not going to sit here and talk a big <laughs> right, game. Right, you know what right. I mean? Like, that's just never been my personality. But yeah. uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. It's, uh, it's a cool racetrack to race at. Um, the groove's going to open up quite a bit tonight. And, um, the problem with this tour is it's just gotten so hard to pass. Everybody's cars are so good, so if you qualify bad, it kind of puts you in a spot. So uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Qualifying is is going to be really important. Um, I feel like I don't think the I don't think the bottom groove will come in until probably lap seventy or eighty. Um, so up until then, we'll all probably be rim riding, and when when you rim ride, it's just really hard to pass. So right. Um, We'll see. I could be wrong. It might come in from lap one. I don't know. Most time I'm wrong about this stuff, but uh, I feel like it's going to take a little bit to come in. So you just don't want to put yourself in a box with with 40 or 50 to go from from qualifying bad. So right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see. So you talk a little bit about um, how close all the cars are now, but also the age. Like, there's a lot of really young drivers that are now in the tour. <laughs> and, and then your, there's me. <laughs> And then, it, like, now you're one of the veterans even at a young age. How has that been adapting to just the, the movement of the drivers? Like, how young the field is now? Um, it's, it's been an experience. Uh, you know, a lot of us guys that have been doing it for a while, um, you know, we get out there and we, we race with respect, you know, for the first 90 or so laps and then the last 30 you know we really we Dog get after it, it. yeah and we'll, we'll yeah. throw a door or, or a bumper um these younger kids will just jump in and from lap, lap one, one they, going they, crazy they knock yeah, the hell out of each other yeah. um so it's it's been different um especially with the younger kids they they know one word and that's go um so it's it's kind of not not bashing them but that's just you know how it's how just what it is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so uh it's it's been different um you know, sometimes it's, it's questionable because you just don't, you know, I've raced with a lot of these guys for years and I know how I can race them and they know how they can race me. And um, you get beside somebody you haven't raced before, you just don't know, you know, how tight you can hold yeah. them or or how much of a shove you can give them, you know, without them holding on to us. So um, I feel like we all had to learn a lot about racing with each other. So uh, it's, it's, it's been different. Have you had to have side conversations with any of these drivers? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to? Uh, nope, no, nope, right, cool. no. It's it's not uh, it's not necessarily. Uh, you don't have to say it. The are way you, the way are they scared um, of you? No, no, no. Like, the way he the said, beard. yeah. The way he said, yeah. Those were strong conversations. I, yeah, I know what that yeah um, sounds like. I don't know. <laughs> like you just kind of. I mean, this this tour is is turned into a really big deal, and and we have a lot of eyes on us, and and it's really making everybody kind of step their their game up, you know. And yeah. and part of that's being more professional, and, and just sometimes they. I'm, I'm all for beating and banging, believe me. Everybody that I've raced with will agree with that 100%, but, you know, just there's a time and a place for it, you know, and, and I feel most of the time that's, that's 30 to go, not not lap one or lap 20 or, or whatever. Yeah. Because um, then it just makes it more difficult. It's unnecessary at that yeah, point. Yeah, there's no point in it. Because so. then it's, if it's all that start and stop, it's not, you're not, nobody's even getting it into their group right, or rhythm. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so I had a conversation with another driver um, at the, the race here earlier this year. Um, same one? Like this is the same driver? No, okay, no, 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 different no. Driver. There's, there's been a few. Oh, um, yeah. Several. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and I just kind of told him, like, look, man, you know, you're, yeah. you're, 
you're being crazy on lap 30. You know what I mean? Did there's, you actually use the words you're being crazy? No, no, Did I you? can't. I can't use oh, words. Oh, something else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're bleeping that uh, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you got a beeper, we'll do it. But um, no, nah, I mean you just. Yeah, I don't see no kids, but it's all good. <laughs> no, I'm not I doing. Get, I, I, get I, I wouldn't say it anyway. But, uh, you know, it's just kind of like, look, man, like, this isn't how we race. You know, you got to be smarter than that, and, and you can't win it on lap five. You know, and that's, that's exactly what happened. We went up into turn three, and we was four wide, and he run me all at the racetrack. There was smoke flying and everything else, and it's a 200-lap race. I mean, what are you accomplishing? Right. We still early. have 170 laps to go, and you're going to beat the hell out of your car before you even get a chance to win the race. You can't do that. What did they say? Did they, did they take your criticism, or were they like, yeah, no, F you, man? Um, it kind of looked like, you know, when you get a puppy dog and you whoop them for the first time. For hey, the first yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> it's really what it looked like, but, um, right, right. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, that's part of the reason why people come run this tour, right? Yeah. Like, especially the younger to kids. To get yelled they, at by you? No. Well, right. I mean, that can happen, but they're looking to move up, you know? And, yeah. and yeah, yeah. when you get to those bigger venues, you gotta, you like you, spank them, man. you, well, yeah, well, I mean, it's not even that you just got to there's certain ways they're going to expect you to race and i mean you can you can learn a lot running this tour um i think carrie ray earlier in the year showed that you know mm -hmm. i feel like one of the best drivers in the world come here to run the tour and they finish 13th or whatever it was so um yeah i mean it's this if you want to learn this is where you need this to learn. tour will humble you yes and and yeah. make you better at the same yeah. time yeah yeah we won the championship three times and in the last two years i've been what the hell am i doing right like, right oh, yeah, what is going yeah. on so uh you know it's, it's a lot to to take in over these last couple of years but it's it's been fun i mean to your point i think that's why a lot of people that maybe race late models on other areas of the u.s in the west coast or up north they want to come and race here because they know that they're going to get stiff competition that's going to prepare them for wherever they're going right. in their motorsports career because yeah. i mean let's be real anybody can be a hometown hero yeah. like anybody can go to their local track and um, you run enough laps, you got dominate. good equipment, you can dominate. Yeah. But if you really want to be a good race car driver and better yourself, you're going to have to go to places that challenge you. Yeah. And the series offers that. Yeah. I think one of the biggest things that I've seen going to a lot of these local races um, and then, you know, coming back with the tour, um, they really run the same lap times we do, you know, like in qualifying and everything else. But the, the difference is, if you look at, at their race pace, they run their fastest lap on lap one, and then that's it. Whereas with mm -hmm. the tour, most time we don't run our fastest lap to lap eighty, mm -hmm. and it's just as fast as their fastest lap, if not faster. Um, so I mean, th these cars have a ton of speed, but running this deal is going to teach you how to get that speed in it and keep it for however many laps. Yeah. Right. Um, and the longer features too, right? Like yeah. having the the lengthier hundred lap or hundred twenty five. Yeah. yeah. Like that's going to really challenge you, and then yeah. like the uh, endurance that you have to have in the seat in order to last longer too. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I know these, these young kids love it and they just go out there and do what they want, but for <laughs> yeah, me, <let's> <laughs> for hey, me well. if, if I hit the wall, I'm not gonna be able to walk on Sundays. Like yeah. I'll, I'll be laying on the couch all day. Right, so, right. Um, I'm, I'm curious, like how many beers do you have the night before the race? Like, cause everybody talks about how I you know, have a, like a I get, I get <laughs> plastered on Friday nights. This is a God's honest truth. I went to Hooters last night and I had one Big Daddy's beer, and that's it. That's it, just one. Just one. But yeah, like the big today. one, so that's what equivalent to three. Uh, so twenty-two ounce. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't drink beer. What does that equal it's, it's to? It's like a tall can. Yes. Yeah, okay. A, I mean, so, it's a big one. Yeah. So two little ones, two regulars. Yeah, two regulars. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. But um, hey, uh, if you could let everybody know where they can find you, though. We're gonna let you get back to your car, get prepared. We gotta get through the rest of these too. But uh, let everybody know where they can find you and stay in, stay in contact with you. Um, just uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, it's under Bobby Mac underscore six. Um, we we post everything there as far as schedules and, okay. and everything else. But um, yep. And then if if anybody wants, we do a, a podcast after the race uh, where we actually drink beer. Um, anybody's, oh, any, anybody's, yeah, I'm, anybody's welcome. Uh, we have a beer sponsor with Two Birds Brewery, so okay. um, we'll have plenty of beer. Doing, are you, where, where are you going to be at? Uh, generally, we do it uh, somewhere on the front stretch, either getting into one or coming out of four. Okay. Um, I don't I don't go to Victory Lane unless I win, so after the race, I'm not going to walk over respect, to Victory Lane. Respect, so it's, it's one end of the racetrack, but uh, come on out. We'll have a couple beers, have a couple laughs, and yeah. uh, then we'll go home. All right, hey. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. Bobby McCarty. Hey, good luck today, man. Woo. Thanks, Bobby. Good luck today. Yeah. 
All right, up next we're gonna have old Butterbean, 03, sitting back here, waiting patiently on the couch. Butterbean. Butterbean, Brennan. Come on down. The is price it, is right, right? Right, yeah, yeah, come <laughs> on down. This is our second Butterbean interview, actually. What's going on, brother man? How you been, dog? Last time was a good one. Yeah, it was. There you go. What's up, Butterbean? Hey, how y'all doing? Hey. We good, man. How you been, man? Good. I, good. When I see you, the turkey race, right? That's that, right. That was last year. It was that last was. Thanksgiving. Yeah, I yeah. We just got, won my first race with Lee. Yeah. The week before. We got Waffle House afterwards, too. You know, we got to. <laughs> Well, we're yeah. going to find one tonight. Yeah. You have Waffle House t-shirts now. Like, in, you know, the Waffle House logo now, it's, it, it just says, says like Butterbean. Butterbean. Yes. Oh, I need one of those. I'm still waiting on mine. Yeah, definitely need that. Two Well, ones. the good news is I have them with me in the pit, so we'll make sure y'all are taken care cool. of. Yeah, for sure. I'm definitely going to come down there and get one for we sure. Got, we got them. Yeah. All right, so Butterbean, uh, like, those for that haven't been following on the tour, like, quite frankly, is a badass. Like, yeah. you've been winning all the crown jewel events like showing up showing out um leading like this is your first year with lee Poyan. before this you were a family-owned team what's it been like like it has to be a roller coaster it has uh you know the way my life was going last year in the summer was probably almost done racing to be honest with you we were kind of doing all we could with our family team and i was working full time at the port of virginia moving container boxes on the ship and uh you know best repair company and the state and family came in and helped me out to sign this deal with uh, lee pulliam and next thing you know i'm did a full or 180 to this way on my life direction right and we're winning the 400 with lee and then carrying over to the car store and uh what a what a year it's been um you know We've won a lot of good, a lot of big races, a lot of cool ones, and we've let a couple get away. But to have a shot in a lot of races is what's been cool about it, especially for me going to places I hadn't ever been to before. Wilkesboro, you won there. Wilkesboro was a big one. Thanks. So you really have been doing a lot, because I mean, last time I saw you was last year, right around Thanksgiving. So this has been the most. You've been just been action packed for you, like this entire year ever since. Were you signed before that race? or right after so when we were in kenley i had already signed a deal and yeah, i had yes. won the week before at the right 400. right yep i so, remember that yeah okay so so you had just got it and then you just been having a good year ever since then it has uh you know it's just a credit to lee pulliam performance and uh my crew chief doug and the whole o3 team over there and lee pulliam you know running a great organization uh every week cars are fast right off the trailer yeah. and makes my job a lot easier when they're fast right so you used to have a nine to five or what, whatever that was Over like at the, the port. seven yeah. to seven seven to seven <laughs> a good old yeah. 12 hour yeah. um but now you're not doing that job now you're focusing on, on your racing career what are you doing in the week like are are you are you bored now <laughs> we stay busy um you know i i uh i have my own merch deal crossauthentics.com We've uh, really been working hard on that. We got some good ideas with that coming up. Okay. Um, sell a lot of lot of Butterbean merch, which has been really cool. Yeah. Um, I have worked some for the Best Repair Company when I could, and then I also have bought uh, a decal machine, wrap machine. So I want to start messing with that. But uh, between that and really focusing on racing has been a difference this year. Um, kind of day by day, we take it by that. But we we got some plans. You know, we just keep working at it and. Uh, just trying to put all the chips in the pile and try to make a run at it. Hey, but congratulations too, man, because it's uh that's something that's anybody that's like working hard for something can really understand. You know, in those all those early years up front, you're still working that full time job and pursuing what you love. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> when you finally get to that point where you're like, oh, I do what I love every day when I wake up, like. That's that hits different. How has that feeling been? Just even that that initial first month or two transition, where you're like, I'm, I'm putting this two week notice in, or I'm just not going back to work. I don't know how you, I don't know if you left in like crazy fashion, but you know, but where you're just like, you're a racer every day now. Well, I went back to school too to finish my engineering degree. I was okay. so I was so close to finishing that, and I'm like, I have to finish it. I gotta have options. So we're working on that, and it's it's been um, it's definitely been crazy. Um, stressful at times just trying to make it work logistically and everything i've got some great supporters helping me but 
you know, I was really proud of what I had done with my family team. You know, we'd won three championships in a row at Langley, and we'd won the Hampton Heat and won the Cars Tour race at Langley, and that was with our own team. So to go to Lee from that, I was proud of what I was leaving, and I was excited for the future, and it's kind of one of those things of now, like, we don't look back. You know, we just keep, keep the pedal forward, and I think we made the right decision. What has been the biggest surprise? Like being with the Cars Tour now, leaving the Langley, like your comfort zone, racing full time with them. What have you been the most surprised about being on the tour? I think just um, not really surprised because I always thought like if I got in the right situation, I could be, you know, a guy that ran up front. But I think being able to actually go and do it and be a guy that, people look at when he shows up as a contender to win especially at these tracks that I had never been to um, like I had never been here and we won our first trip here on that weekly show and that's huge and then the 30 grand race was a heartbreaker running out of gas leading but Damn. just going to places like that I think you know going into places I've never seen and and having a shot to win has been the, the coolest part so so your success has surprised you a little bit and like right off the bat. <laughs> it, it has. You know, I knew, and I told everybody, I knew when I went to Lee, the cars are fast, the team's good. Yeah. And if I don't go over there and perform and I don't go win, they're going to go, yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, the cars are good. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's you at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like putting yourself yeah. on the best football team and, and you're that missing piece and it's like, even though if you, you got, don't, yeah. if you don't, if you don't, you have all the weapons and you don't use them right, they're gonna go. Well, we gotta get rid of you. So yeah, I we just put somebody else here. Yeah. That's right. So yeah. I just felt like I had more pressure to perform because, like Lee Poems, the best to ever do it. You know, and and you drive one of his cars, you're expected to win. And I just felt like um, for me to leave Langley and go do it at other tracks at this point in my career was what I needed to do. And I'm glad it's worked out. Hey man, some people some people fold under pressure, but you clearly rose to the occasion. So I, I respect that. I respect that, man. Um, we're gonna uh, keep it pushing. Let everybody know where they can find you. This is a this is Butterbean's second interview that he's done with us. Even though it wasn't called Track Addicts at first, we've officially coined the name on as this. There's is an a episode. sign behind there's us a, with a the name sign on it, and so everything. So it, yeah, it's real. I so. love I love it. We're getting ready to start a podcast called the Bean Pod soon. Oh, do so. it, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. If working. you if you don't sit in beanbag chairs for this yeah, podcast, key, you, have like, you have to have to beanbag chairs, <laughs> that's, Waffle House. That's to brilliant. Go. Waffle <laughs> House, Waffle in my lap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mandatory. Uh, Mandatory. So, so our merch is at crossauthentics.com, and right now you can also search brennanqueen.com and find it. Um, Facebook, Brennan Butterbean Queen. Twitter's 03 Butterbean, and Instagram is uh, Butterbean underscore 03. So anywhere you search Brennan Butterbean Queen, we should pop up. Perfect. All hey, right. That's how it should be. Hey, Thank you all for having me. Wish you the best of luck, man. It was good seeing you again Pre as well. Appreciate it. We got people showing up. Thank yeah, we you, do. Butterbean, for jumping on. I think yeah, next, man, man. Let, thanks, good luck today. I think let's do Minnie. We're, we're going to welcome Minnie back on. Yeah, let's welcome Minnie back on. Minnie, we, we, Minnie all the technical Bello. issues are Whoop. over, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're good. You're, you're good, good, yeah. He's you're like, good. I don't want to touch anything. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't want to stop anything. Last time I jumped on here, everything got off. Yeah, it's not, so we're going we're gonna to start yours right over. We're just going to start right from the beginning. Absolutely. I feel like you kicked it off, so I don't know if you remember what you opened it up with. I don't anyway. even know what we said. Minnie, yeah. how's your day? It's great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, look, a day at the racetrack is, is well, far well spent than at, you know, at work or uh you know, at home. I yeah, mean, right. why not? Yeah. It's, I, if you love doing something, it's a great day being here. Yeah. So you've been with the tour for a really long time. You've literally grown up inside of the car store. We've seen you as a, a, a real mini, and now you're full-grown mini. <laughs> yeah, yeah, someone call me Maxie now. So. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, That's good. Yeah. No, so, yeah, I started in the car store when I was 14, uh, kind of fresh turned 14. I ran a... Uh, a limited late model race. The, I think this is like the second ever car store limited late model race. The first or second um, at this racetrack actually before it was okay. repaved. Oh, I think I remember this. Yeah, and I, uh, I think I ended up qualifying outside pole and led some laps, but got caught up in a wreck on the back straightaway. But um, so yeah, I mean I've been in it as soon as the first race with the with the car store was at South Boston uh, when I was 14. Just turned 14, went and ran it, and uh, 
you know, we had had to get get some good success. I was running top ten, and then unfortunately got taken on that one. But uh, so yeah, I've been doing it a while. You know, I've had had my success in the, in the cars tour. Twenty twenty one was a great year for me. Uh, we won a race, won a race here. Uh, so Tri County holds a special place in my heart with the cars tour. So. Especially when you walked away with a dub. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was definitely a cool race. Definitely a cool race win. Um, we definitely put them on. I think it was like a three-second yeah. three second lead at the oh, end. Oh, word. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you went crazy. How do you feel about today? Uh, pretty good. I think, you know, I think we're pretty fair. We had a pretty good car in practice yesterday, so, uh, you know, hopefully we can carry that momentum here. Qualifying's in the next hour or so, so hopefully we can uh, put her in a good spot. But if not, you know, the guy's got the car hooked up pretty good, so... Uh, as long as it's driving good in the race, I'm confident that uh, we can make a charge to the front. Yeah. And then uh, let everybody know where they can kind of find you at as well, too, just so they can make sure they stay in contact. Yeah, uh, you can find me you know, across the board, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, it's, everything's mini Tyrell, M-I-N-I-T-Y-R-R-E-L-L, uh, across the board. Kind of anywhere you search mini Tyrell, I should should pop up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You've been up in your social game, too. So, like, you have been trying. great updates yeah. and videos and stuff. So. Yeah, I've been, uh, you know, you have the greatest in the marketing business, 3-8 Creative, Carson Ellis she there. So yeah, she's there right she there. Yeah. yeah, so. Uh, who, did, who gave you the name Mini? Uh, I, that was a, a nickname that I got. Me and my dad have the same name. Ah, um, uh, got you. So you're so a junior. I'm not a junior. We got different middle names, but we're both Timmy. Gotcha. Timothy is yeah, right, right, right. I, uh, I think that's actually exactly how you're a junior. <laughs> right, yeah. Sure, yeah. So. <laughs> the middle name got to be the same, though. If they have the same name, like my dad has the same name, but he's not, he wasn't like dubbed junior, yeah. but he's still technically a junior. I, I guess. I First, know. middle, and last though, right? No, the middle names are different. So I think so, like, you're, I think you're disqualified. Last. It's got to be exact. I think, yeah, exactly. I think it has to be exact. Exactly. It's got to be exact. We're going to have to, I'm going yeah, to Google that. Is, that is a Googler. <laughs> yeah, that's a Googler. No, nah, but nickname Mini, Mini from Mini Me, Austin Powers. Gosh, gotcha. okay, okay. A long okay. time ago, I was Give us just, your, like, just best baby. Austin Powers. Give us your best you know, Austin Powers impersonation. I guess the, the <laughs> pinky on the lip there, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, I think we were watching that. Me and, me and my dad, you know, everybody's kind of like, oh, I'm a spitting image of my father. So gotcha. uh, gotcha. we kind of watched that movie when I was younger, and uh, they were like, yeah, you're many. And I was yeah. probably three years old, just about. I hadn't even started in go-karts yet. So. Do you still like it now? Like is it a, is it a nickname yeah. that you're like I'm okay with it? No, I mean, I've, I've never had a problem with it. Yeah, Minnie's right. Minnie's a good name too because it's like it's a, it's a good one that transitions into adulthood. I'll say that's a good. One. Some people's nicknames you be like, don't call me Peanut anymore or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like Minnie is like because the the best part about Minnie is like you don't know who's coming. Yeah. I got some friends coming, Minnie, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Who's Minnie? You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, yeah. It's Minnie, definitely a unique Minnie goes one. hard. Yeah, yeah, it goes hard. It's yeah, not, yeah. There's not many, many Minis out there. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know who to expect. Honestly, I saw the name. So I don't know who to expect. But I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. no. I, Minnie's been around like forever, and I think it always will be, even right. though you know, as long as I'm around, I don't have an issue with it. It's, right, right. Everybody at work, kind of like my personal life all my friends everybody calls me timmy but um everything at, at else track. work at the track everywhere else it's all you know, of course like, yeah. isn't that odd too like how you have a select group of friends that will call you something completely different right and then if they call you that in front of everyone else that calls you like many somebody's like what like wait what they talking to i mean you? i'm sure i'm sure my buddy gavin will see this but my buddy gavin he always goes you know he always says many and he says it in this voice yeah. like randomly he'll do it to me because he always calls me timmy wait what voice? Just right. like, he's like, hey, Minnie. And oh, I'm like. <laughs> like, really deep? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, like, no, you're not. <laughs> right. It, 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 no, you're not <laughs> calling me Minnie. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's, right. You call me Timmy. There's no Minnie. But, you know, shout out, Gavin. Shout hey, out Gavin. Gavin. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Gavin. What up, Gavin? <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Subscribe but, to, what is it? Track Addicts. Track, track Addicts. addicts. Yeah. yeah. Make so. sure you rate us five stars. You know? yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> But well, hey, we appreciate you sitting down with us, man. We wish you the best of luck as well, too. Of course. Yeah. And uh, we'll be in contact. Hopefully, we can do this yeah, again. And this ain't, this ain't the first time, you know? Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks for having me on, guys. I appreciate it. it was Most nice definitely. Hanging it's out. It's nice yeah. meeting you, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. All right. That was many. That was many right there. Well. Many. All right. We have a few other drivers over here. Who do we want next? Dylan. We got Dylan Wilson. Yes. Mr. Dylan Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the Dylan Wilson Come on down. Next. 
Whoop, whoop. Dylan's been riding. I've been jealous of him because he's been riding around on that damn Scooty bike. <laughs> and just talk to me about the Scooty bike. We'll get to the racing later because I've been considering purchasing one. So how do you feel about the about the baby bicycle? It's one of the best investments I've ever made Really, as an adult man. Yeah. I feel like if you don't have one at this point, you know, you're, like, you're really missing out. Okay, say less, say less. I'm going to get one because I, I see them at Costco. I see them on Instagram. You've been just, every time I see you just pull up on a group, you'll lean on the handlebars, hey, what's up, what's up, and then just roll. I'm like, damn, man, that's what I want, you know? Yeah, you definitely have to have a little bit of, there's a little bit of swagger that comes with the mini right. bikes. Yeah. Uh, a few of my fellow competitors have them. Some of them pull it off great. Some of them don't deserve to be on one. <laughs> but, I haven't seen this yet. You what? haven't? No. It's right over there. The little electric bikes. Yep. You know, you just... You, you can't build, see it. It's you're building the them? No, they're like 400 bucks at Costco. Oh, you're yeah, buying it's legit. Okay, yeah. okay. Yep. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, it's a great investment. Uh, usually, I use it at the beach and haul about 38 beers on my back and take it out there. And <laughs> Also, it rides decent on sand, too? It don't go on sand well. I've tried it a couple times. Yeah. If it's packed down good, it's okay. But uh, right, right, I did. Yeah. I got the big tire version, you know, the upgrade, the, right, L, right, the LTZ yeah. special. Uh, but around here, it's, it's, it's like it's literally perfect for the track. Cause yeah. The, the track is yes. just, they're not little. And it's like, if you don't have a, in a golf cart, I don't want to trip. Yeah. Put a golf cart on the back of some that throw throw that in the back of a of a sedan car and you're good. You right. Know what I mean? Yeah. I mean it, it struggles a little bit going uphill, but downhill you let that thing ride in the wind. Yeah, get right. yourself a leather vest, throw a couple patches on it. Right. Yeah. You know, now, <laughs> now, now we're talking. <laughs> All right. So okay, off the bicycle. Let's get to the race. I got it. Well, hang on. I got another question. Okay, okay, go now ahead. we're on this like personal roll. <laughs> right. Um. Okay. So Dylan just announced. That he's going to be a father. That's right. First time father. That's right, man. Appreciate it. Here yeah. um, in the fall. No, yeah. wait. We're in the fall. Uh, it's going to be spring. Spring. It's going to be April of next year. So okay, we got um, a little while. Are you terrified? I'm a slightly terrified. I mean, I've always said like the only thing that I've ever known I've wanted to be in life is a father. Right. So you know, it's always between being at the racetrack with him or, or just watching him grow and all that. I mean. So you're already at the point where you know it's a boy? No, I, I mean, whether it's a girl just, or a boy, I think it's I mean, if you, if you want to reveal the gender on our podcast, like, it would be fine. I, wish, I wish I knew. I would <laughs> tell everyone, but uh, the as gender long, reveal party is next uh, Friday. So. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. As long as they're oh. healthy, that's really the only thing. Yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm super excited. Obviously, I'm really nervous about it, too. I mean, right. I don't feel like I'm ready to be a father uh, by no means as far as like how I feel like I still like to I feel like I have too many hobbies but uh, everybody tells me that changes pretty fast so yeah. we'll see how uh, we'll see how it goes maybe the, the golf will probably get put on the back burner but I don't know if the racing will, will go anywhere I doubt it because there's always kids out here so I, I don't think yeah. the racing is going anywhere it's just going to be yeah. you know there's like an age and then it's like okay Right. Come on yeah, out, you like, know? are you gonna keep racing and just bring bring the baby along? Yeah, and yeah. Hopefully, uh, my goal is that you know it's due in April, and I, the car store always races a couple times in April. So I don't I don't know how that's all gonna work out for yeah, me. Yeah, because you're gonna be a high alert in that yeah. last month. Yeah, yeah. I, so I have to can, say it definitely yeah. takes utmost importance is the is, for sure is, the, is being at the is being at that and also making my my wife comfy and all that. Right. So. You know, I'm not. I don't know how that'll all work, but my yeah, definitely, definitely gonna try to do my best at raising it around the racetrack and yeah. stuff, and uh, and you know, living kind of the life I've lived as far as getting to go traveling with my dad when I was a kid, even right. a newborn, I did the same thing. So I turned out somewhat okay. So <laughs> right, hopefully right, they'll, yeah. they'll do the same. But you know, it's hard telling. I hey, you're about to enter into the next phase of life. I mean, this that's as, as official. That's like the final evolution. It's like it's yeah. not the final one, but it's the next big one yeah, it's, it's like it, bring bring children into this world yeah you know what I mean? things so, definitely seem to change quite yeah, a bit when, for sure, when, when that comes around so we'll, okay we'll see. so to the race cars yeah, let's, let's talk about the race cars what has it been like this season you've had ups and downs this season right like right back to racing full time you've had some bad luck some mechanical stuff but also you've had some really good runs yeah. what, what has it just been like like racing in the tour and, and getting you know your feet underneath you of going so often now yeah it's almost sometimes like balling yourself up and jumping in a washing machine and just getting the hell of it out of you for about 15 races and then right. one good one <laughs> i've never heard that metaphor but i love it yeah it hits though it hits yeah, I just the kinda, old school washing machines though, yeah not yeah. the ones without yeah. the blades you know it, what I'm saying? yeah it kind of feels yeah. like that but you know all jokes aside it's been tough we knew it was going to be tough you know yeah. coming in with 
you know, kind of limited uh, experience and, and, and budget, you know, just trying to figure everything out, figure out what, you know, we are setups wise and getting notes and just track time for me and, and learning everything. It's tough. It's a lot to, it's a lot to take in in a short amount of time. When I signed up for this series, I didn't realize there would be, you know, 30 of the best late models in the country every single week. So uh, that, yeah. that kind of adds to it. You know, we, it probably wouldn't have hurt to me have got a year of just, messing around at some local tracks and stuff i kind of took a three-year hiatus from racing and then jumped right. and then wilkesboro came around and i got a full-time deal so we're learning as we go um i have an awesome owner and seth con con we we've got we've got a really good relationship and uh we have a lot of big plans throughout the next couple of years for sure but but most good. importantly man we're just having fun i'm bringing the same people that my dad had a had as his pit crew and oh, all great. through his years cool. in the early two yeah, thousands. So it's the same guys and uh, it's 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 the same people I watched through my dad when I was ten years old. So you, it, yeah. it's neat to to be the the driver now. Dad's the spotter and crew chief, and uh, everybody else kind of held the same positions with a couple new additions. So it's been a damn. It's been really fun and. Uh, it's been hard. We've had some good runs. We've had some bad runs. We've had good luck, bad luck, the whole deal. But um, at the end of the day, we've had a really good time. So we're just going. We're going to keep on digging and, and hopefully yeah, so, knock so, something out tonight. So this car store, you really hit it because you said you had a three-year hiatus. Pretty much, yeah. And then when you came back, you jumped right into the like the yeah. thick of the competition. Like, yeah, my first race back level. was the car store throwback race last year after basically okay. a three-year no racing at all. And then uh, I ran Wilkesboro after that, and then then I became full time on the tour. So, yeah, that's <laughs> so it was kind of out of nowhere. Didn't really expect it, but it's been a damn blast. That's for sure. Yeah. If there's one thing that you're doing right, it's having fun. Yeah. That's like one thing. When you look at the drivers, you're like, if you were to look at all of them and say, which one do I want to hang out with? Right. right. I, they, I think they would pick Dylan. I kind of yeah. already made that decision off the scooty bike. You know what I'm saying? I knew he shot the Costco. Uh, we well, was yeah. already kind of cool off that. You know? Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know like, it's one of those things. You can definitely connect on the scooter bikes. But, yeah, uh, and yeah. you're making your own merch. You got the Halloween edition yeah. right there. Yeah, the we hat. got some merch out there. I got, yes. I, got, I, got my own, uh, I got my own beer out now and everything. Yes. So What? Uh, I'm yeah, telling you, he's stuff. bringing everything. Yeah, we got, we got some <laughs> cool stuff going on. Like I said, it's all it's all because of uh, Seth Con and we, we never – we never knew that it would turn into what it did. Right, like, I yeah. didn't think it would. We'd have beer cans and and all sorts of merch going all the time and all that. But it's been, I mean, it's been a blast, and everybody's having a blast doing it. We get to go race and then drink us some beer after the race and talk about it and and uh, work like hell for two weeks and go to the next one. That's kind of been our mantra all year, and, and uh, just keep on digging. So living that race yeah, life. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Dylan. Well, we're going to let you go yeah, so you yeah, get ready but, for the yeah. fan fest but, here. But before but, you go, make sure you tell everybody yeah. where they can find you, though. Yeah, just uh, Twitter, Facebook, or whatever it's called now. X, <laughs> Facebook, X. Yeah. Instagram, all that. Dylan Wilson, and then uh, of course on YouTube and stuff. Uh, we do some vlogs every now and then, but but uh, you. Usually, if you if there's a car store race and a bright orange car and beer, that's probably where you'll find me. Say at. less. <laughs> that's, that's Honestly, I see it. myself leaving with a lot of merch because everybody that said that we got merch for sale, I'm like, yeah. like the hats fire. <laughs> you know, like I'm gonna have to pick up a little yeah. bit of everything while yeah. I'm around. I actually have I have a camper over there in the middle of turns one and two. It's painted camo. I usually deer hunt out of it. I saw it. Yeah. I saw that one. That's yeah, my, yeah. We're, over, we're going to be partying tonight yeah. over in our camper. It's so. full of beer and merchandise if anybody wants to go over and check it out. So. Okay. Heck Say yeah. less. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, appreciate Dylan Wilson. Having, yeah. Hey, we Thank appreciate you, man. Thank you. Good luck today. We have two more drivers scheduled. Landon Huffman is next. I don't yeah. know where he went. Oh, I see He's him right, right red. Yep. Andrew Grady's been waiting patiently this whole time. Shout out to Grady. He is. Mr. Landon Huffman, number 22. Whoop, whoop. Hickory Motor Speedway champion. And uh, $30,000 winner here at Tri-County the last time they were there. This is okay. fancy. Here. Hey, fancy. You like the couch? The couch, and I can hear myself. Well, my podcast at home, I just talk into the mic. I can't even hear myself. This is oh, like okay. po- this is the yeah. This podcast is podcast. Thing. All the races got podcasts. It seems like you know. He, yeah, he has one. You got to get some headsets. That's how you know. Yeah, well, I so, figure the more equipment that I have to invest in means the more opportunity to break something. So we, <laughs> we've already blown the breakers themselves. twice today, right? Yeah, it's just did. easier to be, keep the bare minimum, especially with the guys that uh, I've got on the podcast with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a rowdy pocket. What's the what's the name of it so everybody can look at it up? Huffman Racing Radio. Huffman Racing yeah. Radio. Say less. I'm gonna look that up. He's also I'm, a YouTuber. 
Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've had some fun with that as well. <laughs> how many how many subs you guys? Sound like the YouTube is lit. Uh, almost 30K. Oh, man, I'm going over there. I'm te- <laughs> definitely checking that out for it's sure. It's been growing pretty good. I've been very blessed. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. How, but how you feeling about today, man? I feel good. I feel as good as I did uh, a couple months ago here when we won the 30,000. So if that's any indication, I feel like we're going to have a, a good opportunity to be in victory lane at the end of 125. Okay. Okay, hang on. Rewind. You feel as confident as when you won 30,000 here, or you feel more confident? Because that's going to separate the difference yeah. on if they should watch out for you or not. I don't know, Jacqueline. We, we won we won last time, so I feel like they should look out either way. Oh, okay. well, yeah. I feel as confident. I mean, I, okay, we, there we, go. we had right. some hiccups in practice. Uh, our mock run kind of got uh, thrown off the rails because we had an issue with the sway bar. So I didn't get to see what true raw speed we were going to have. But uh, I'm confident in the race car. I can go from the very top to the very bottom in practice. So I feel like that's going to be the most important thing, you know, at the end of the race, uh, if the last race is any indication. Oh, there we go. See, we're getting you hyped. Fall yeah. finds up next. We got to get that racer mine. Yeah, well, see, I have a tendency of overdriving. So I need somebody to kind of calm me down a little bit. I'll end up I'll end up overdriving. And that's usually, <laughs> if I qualify bad, just know that I overdrove. Gotcha. You blame it on me. Yeah. Jacqueline put too much pressure on me in the podcast. I didn't know yeah, I just, it, just, just hyped you up things. too much. That's All right, right. so um, news is out on, on you. Uh, you were with Nelson this year, mm-hmm. and it was a little bit of a part-time gig. And next year, going to Jimmy Mooring Racing, which was previously Jared Fryer's home. Um, but he's now relocated and is in Florida. So that's like I feel like that's the perfect fit for you. Mm. Yeah, it worked out actually really, really well. Uh, Jimmy called me here in the last couple weeks, and – just the timeline kind of fell into place and you know jared he did move to florida but he's still going to race uh, on a part-time basis and so jimmy was looking for someone to try to run the full schedule and i had a race shop already and i've got guys that help me on my own personal cars so that's kind of what jimmy was looking for so it was really a perfect fit and uh get to go pick up a new rns race car here in the next couple Ooh. weeks oh, new snap. david west motors so we have a lot of horsepower and a, a good race car underneath us so it'll be a lot of fun and Am I right in saying that that's a different chassis than what you normally are running, the so RNS? I, yeah, I'm in a Reynolds car right now. Okay. Um, so the car I won the 30K in has been a Reynolds chassis for Nelson. Uh, great race car as well. Um, I know Marcus has been working really hard to get his stuff up front. Bobby's ran really well. Uh, Deke McCaskill's ran really well here as of late. So I'm excited to work alongside those guys, and I think that uh, we'll have all the, the right means to be up front and win races. Oof. I love new race cars. Yeah, I was about to say, you about to come out swinging for I've real. never had a new race car in my entire life. Ever? Ever. So this is your first one? First one, yeah. Is it going to have the – what do new race cars smell like? Do they, do they smell like new cars? Like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Most of my they stuff's like, been used. They smell like money. <laughs> <I> used <laughs> and abused. Because yeah, I'm assuming it doesn't have, like, the air freshener new car smell. What is it like? No, I mean, well, it depends on if it's if it's painted or not. Like, if True. it's just the bare chassis, like, it just smells like metal. But if it's painted, it smells like new paint in a way. Well, gotcha. for one, it's not bent. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good point. So yeah, true. I've, I've a lot of the stuff I've raced has been previously bent. True. Okay. By me or otherwise. Gotcha. Uh, and I don't think I've ever had a brand new body on a race car in my entire life either. So that's, that's probably cool. the biggest thing, the body. Well, but most undamaged. of the bodies that I've used has all been secondhand stuff on my cars, which obviously Barry Nelson keeps a, a yeah. beautiful race car. So I guess that yeah. that would be uh, – an exception but at least rolling out of my personal shop uh where i'm going to keep this car for jimmy i've never had anything that's going to look as nice as this i feel like anytime you like okay so you're not used to having a new car anytime you have something new like that the first dent the first scratch is always something stupid that you get right like it's like when you when you get a, a new shirt you're like Oh yeah, this shirt looks good. And then the next thing you know, you're like spilling one, ketchup on or it. Or just like, like as you come down with the coffee, that one drop just yes. <laughs> hits you. You know what Ruins I'm saying? It. Something like that. Yeah. If, if anyone keeps up with what I do on a regular basis and the guys that help me on a regular basis, then you'll understand that something will most certainly happen to that race car before it gets to the racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> which is a good thing. Yeah. We yeah. don't. We need to scratch it a little in the shop. That's what I'm saying. There. I'm going to have to like tune in on YouTube to see what it's going to be. That's we'll we'll the, document it. For you sure. definitely got to document it. Maybe shoot like a music video. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what the song is. Like do something that nobody would expect you doing and just do like just like a little music video around it, throw some smoke around there. You know what I mean? It might be kind of fire. I've got quite the cast of characters, so I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we'll yeah. be able to figure something out.
something out. I vote music video, new car. You know, <laughs> that, that's that's where my vote goes, at least. You know, we'll have to see. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see what happens for you next year because I think that's great. And you and Jared are similar, like in uh, mindsets, similar racers. So um, I feel like the pairing with Jimmy and everything is going to go really well because um, they've had lots of success. So I'm excited to see how it goes. Yeah, uh, I am too. I mean. Me and Jared are cut from a similar cloth. You know, he comes from a racing family, and he's had to work on his race cars growing up. And uh, Mark, his dad's a very smart person. He's won a lot of races and been a part of a lot of race winning programs. So having them, being able to lean on them, and obviously Marcus Richmond and the uh, people at RNS Race Cars having the ability to go to them and and take information and kind of build what we're doing alongside them is going to be is going to be huge. So I'm excited. Fire. Hey, well, let everybody know where they can find you, uh, your your direct socials, YouTubes, podcasts, and then we'll get you out of here, man. Yeah, man, super easy. At Landon Huffman on pretty much all social media, and then my uh, podcast is uh, Huffman Racing Radio. So thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you, Thanks, man, for Landon. sitting down. appreciate it. Good luck. Got to get a knuckle. Oh, right. Yeah. Got to have a knuckles. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Landon Huffman. Watch out for him in that number 22. We better see you on the pole, man. All that talk. <laughs> All right, um, our last and yeah, final guest right here, uh, waiting patiently. Come on down, the number one, Mr. Andrew Grady. Yeah. It's always a pleasure meeting another Andrew. I'm good, man. All right. Whew, that's hot. How y'all doing? Yeah. Oh, we're you doing are, good. You are sweating a little bit, man. It's 95 degrees underneath that. I side. think it's yeah, like 70. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's you were just right. like right in the sun, though. Like You, you know, were. You were trying to get a tan. Man. Exactly. Yeah. See, you know. Your freckles are out. Exactly. You got to look pretty at all times. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Anyways. So how y'all doing? What y'all doing today? I like that. Uh, yeah, man, we're doing good. How you feeling, man? Uh, you know, trying to make a race car turn left and gain speed. Um, <laughs> currently looking for a priest, some holy water, and a sawzall. Okay. If you find those, come find them. Okay. Me. I I want to say that there's a Saza here, and okay. we do have a priest. We have, you know, Preacher Joe down there. I don't know about the holy water, though. I'll, I'm normally, I'm we, like a part-time. We have this. Will this uh, deer park water work for you? <laughs> I'm a part-time deacon. I just left my robe at the house, so I can't help you today. All right. So, well, yeah. when we down here, I need you to come bless that race car because it's you. possessed. I, I don't know I do. what is yeah. wrong with it. Is it? Oh, yeah. it's We're struggling today. I don't know what's going on with it. We've run so well here in the past, both races, and uh, we came back yesterday and um, just had no speed. Um, None. I'm trying to facilitate it, and when a driver is trying to make speed, you're gonna be, you're gonna get slower because I'm gonna yeah. overdrive, I'm right. gonna overcharge, and that's what I'm doing. So, just trying to find a balance. Um, going into qualifying, not sure honestly what I'm gonna have. Hopefully, it turns left. <laughs> that's that's really all I can. Let's be hope it turns right left because yeah. these walls they aren't forgiving here. No, this place is fast. I hit really hard here a year before last, and actually left with a concussion. This place is this is the baddest wow. racetrack we go to. I feel like it's fast. It's three grooves, and it's very unforgiving. Mm. Mm. Damn, right. that sounds like a commercial. So. Uh, <laughs> It did. <laughs> I have to use those lines. Right. So thank yeah. you. I will use that later. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Andrew, I know AJ's just now meeting you here, but yeah, for first time. he Pleasure has brother. one of the coolest personalities in the car store, I will say. Okay. So Andrew, I can tell. You got the vibe. Like, yeah. he's got the hair gel going, but he, he uh, I feel like. But it's you the name have, Andrew, though. I'm the an name, Andrew yes. Too. But Andrew, this year, I, I feel like you've really blossomed in in the tour this year. Like, you've really opened up to everyone else. Yeah, I have. Well, last year at Martinsville, that that, that clip at Martinsville kind of introduced me to more to everybody, I feel like. Why don't, why don't you tell AJ yeah, tell what happened clip, at Martinsville? Because the clip sounds fire. Man. Sounds like it, it, went it went viral. viral. It did, yeah. actually. Okay, got, yeah. me TMZ. And, me and Brandon Pierce, you met Brandon Earth. I did. We, yep. got, uh, we got run over at the end of a straightaway at Martinsville. Destroyed two amazing expensive race cars that our guys spend countless hours working on right. time away from their families working on i went to talk to the man about it and i legitimately just wanted to have a conversation he wasn't trying to have no conversation no and then yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah i felt his energy <laughs> lord have mercy he got swung on i don't know it was my alter ego he got swung <laughs> on I almost got tased. You know, it was it was great. What's your alter ego's name? That sounds fun. I'm inserting that clip into this just so everybody knows. It's in, it's yeah. Just we do need, a, it's gonna get inserted. Who who was it that came out? It, 
bad. No, nah, we won't. We won't do that. Bad. We won't do that. Bad. We won't do that. They we'll can see for themselves. No, nah, it. Um, <laughs> after that night at Martin's when we left, it had 12 million views on Twitter alone. Dang Mike Tyson no. retweeted it. Chad oh, it was up. Oh yeah, bro, it was bad. It I'm was, just. I'm gonna crazy. add some context, Andrew. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, go ahead. Andrew gets to the window of the car. The guy wasn't out of the car. Okay. Um, has still at his window. You know, that he's still in there. Yeah. I never saw you. I saw this. I saw this clip. I saw this clip. I didn't know that was you. I yeah, saw this me. clip. Yeah, the clip was, was kind of crazy. Don't me. leave me hanging. You that didn't recognize. The clip was crazy. No, I know who you are now. You didn't recognize these fists? I <laughs> saw that on Twitter. And now that I'm looking at you, I'm like, that is him. Yeah, that's bro, him. Yeah. That video was crazy. Not my finest moment. He no, it wasn't. He, you were out. Of, yeah, you yeah. was kind of crazy. Yeah, you, you was going crazy. You can't destroy. I remember it. that moment. You can't destroy $100,000 in race cars and flip the man off when he comes to talk to you. You're going to get your head punched. Y'all, this clip was viral, y'all. I saw that. Yo. Okay, so okay, yeah. so the moment happens at Martinsville. Right. Okay. You're uh, yeah, every, you're on good the big, you're America, in the limelight at this all point. The things, yeah. And then you start your season here right. with the series. Right. Is, is that what already you're, kind is that of what a target like, on your back? My too. hair is already down. Everybody's seen the worst. Now, now you've decided to be more of a social butterfly because of that. Um, more, kind of yeah. I realize that I can be me and still get sponsors and still be like for it i'm not i'm not gonna be one of these race car drivers who pretends to be clean cut hey, you're not gonna be fake. i'm professional don't get me wrong right but when you interview me i'm gonna be me regardless i'm not gonna act like i'm somebody else i'm never gonna do that i'm never gonna stray away from my beliefs and who i am and how i was raised and actually when the season started jack was like you know be you but don't be you. And I was like, all right, Mr. Jack, I got you. I understand 100%. Pick, pick the right moments to be yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. See, Essentially, that, that's pick all that moments. is, yeah. So, so, so like, yeah. be you, but not that you. <laughs> no, but serious question. So, like, after something like that happens, like, outside of you being more well-known within the car stores and just, like, overall racing fans, how does that influence regular life, everyday life? Because, uh, I mean, it was everywhere legit. So... The biggest thing about it I didn't like was the trolls. The trolls started the coming. Trolls get crazy, and they didn't bother yeah. me talking crap to me. It didn't bother it's me at all. Family. But it's when the, they started the going ones. towards my wife and exactly. saying really yeah. bad stuff to her, yeah. that's when I started going back at them. And then you know how you know how the internet is. You get oh, yeah, sucked into a wormhole. You can't go exactly. in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's and it's a losing bet. The, the internet exactly. always wins. Exactly. And yeah, at that yeah, point yeah. I was like, all right, I'm gonna, you know, just kinda zip, stop talking. You have to, and yeah, just let it go. I still get messages to this day and it's over a year later. Because one of the things like that or just viralness in general you might have a five to ten year period where you're chilling and then like ten years from now that one person exactly. will retweet it yeah. exactly. and now you're back and it's like damn bro I can't let it's never gonna go away it's, it's just yeah and I mean that's cool I had one of the biggest viral moments in short track racing history that's I'll fact. take it it's that's cool fact. hopefully yeah. we can you know win Martinsville or win a cars tour race before it gets too oh, long I'd and we can that. replace that with that but yeah because then what you'll need to do is like start to clip off with that exactly. and then end transition. it with you and then transition with a nice rough cut exactly. to you winning see that you I like the way you think man. I do this you know what I'm saying exactly. <laughs> I do Man, it's, just, it's just part of it, man. But, yeah. you know, I want to touch on what Dylan said earlier. I I went from winning 15 or 16 races in one year to being win this, winless the last two years with the tour. Mm. So when yeah, you come yeah, in yeah. and you go from dominating to getting your head kicked in every right, week, it's yeah. a, it, it makes you check your confidence at the door when you come in the gate against these guys. It really does. I mean, because everybody here is somebody. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Everybody here has one track championships. Everybody here has 10 or more wins in a late model stock car. Damn. Yeah. This is this really is like, this is oh, where, yeah, you, this this is where is, you come to prove yourself for yeah, real. Yeah, if you want to prove yourself as one of the best in the country, you come here to do it. Well, gotcha. that, that's like kind of what I was saying earlier of when you're racing locally versus when you're racing in the tour because this is the best of the best right. all coming together to compete for this. So right. yeah. um, you've had success before this what has been the moment in the tour that you're like dang like what's some has there been a moment you're like dang this has really challenged me as a driver uh when i got lapped at ace last year my first time to ace i got lapped i haven't been lapped in 12 years that'll that'll be that a moment my party went by Ooh. me like i was standing still and then we went to Wilkesboro, and I was, I mean, I was in practice, and I thought I was jamming. Like, I thought I was rolling. And then Jared Fryer went by me on my outside, and I, it, I was like, was that a car? I was, yeah, like, looking around. I was like, oh, my God, all right, I got to get better. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we wind up finishing good, but it's just it's when you come and run against these guys, you've got to be on point. Your crew chief yeah. has to be on point. You have to be on point. Everything has to literally fall in place for you to win one of these races. And I think I think that's why it's so prestigious. And I think that's why so many people try to win one of these races because yeah, it, to me because it really means something. Here. Exactly yeah. to me, not taking anything away, but to win this, I feel like to me winning a car store race is as big as winning Martinsville. A lot of people will disagree, but go to Martinsville, there's 30 guys there that can win. The rest of them, man, you come here, everybody can win on any given night, no matter where we go. Mm. And that's tough. Yeah, that is, yeah. So this year, with the series, mm -hmm. you've really got your feet wet and all of it. What's yep. what's next? What's headed for 24 for you? Um, we're gonna do we're gonna do some more pro stuff. Um, I, I made my first pro start last year at Pensacola. I'd never even sat in one, and we wound up making the Snowflake. I was which, gonna say, yeah, this, yeah, that's a big race within yeah, itself. And I had never even sat in one, so. Mm -hmm. Opening my eyes to that a lot, that helped me, and I think we're going to explore some super and some pro stuff coming up. But um, I really don't want to go no further in this sport, man. I, I love what I do. I can do this on the weekends. I still work full time. I go to school. I do all that stuff. But um, I'd like to run a truck maybe, maybe once just to say I did it. But um, this but it's is like super. This level is like, it's fun here right. on this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, look at Deke. Deke, Deke McCaskill, to me, is top three best late model drivers who have ever done it, and Deke's never got a shot at it, and that is depressing. But Deke's happy where he's at, and if I can get half, if I can get to half of what Deke's done, I'll be perfectly content with my career. I will. That's a good role model, For honestly. Sure. Like Deke is a really great role model right. to to point to. Has had so much success, and he's such a great guy. And he's too. calm. Yeah, he. I know. Like, like he's so calm. He's just chilling. Just chill. Like, yes. I've yeah. seen Deke mad one time, and it was at Connor Jones, which I think everybody in the pit area has been mad at Connor Jones at least once. <laughs> okay, okay. We were okay. teammates, and I was leading at Jacksonville, and he wrecked me. What? Right. Yeah, Connor's great. He's, he's like a little brother, but yeah, he needs right. mental health. He's currently suspended. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he's currently suspended, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, it's, okay. So this is what great, he, though, this, man. This, this he is what he does. Well. Yeah. He means well, man. Right, it's right. Just, He's a kid, and it, and he's like any other kid that runs that that comes and runs with us. It's they get over their head. I think they're trying to prove something, and when you run somebody over in this series, there's going to be consequences. For right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we're going too fast to just be running into each other. These right. race cars are expensive. Yeah. And if you tear my race car up, I tear your head up. Yeah. Like, like that's, that's just how it that's is. another bar. You know. It's like, proven. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. See, thank you. State yeah. vindicated. Yeah. So. I mean, we can play games, but on the racetrack, don't play games. Right. We're going too fast. There's too much invested in this for you to do dumb stuff. And just because you're a kid, don't mean nothing. Yeah, facts, facts. But see, when you got kids like that, the biggest problem is their mommy and daddy try to fight you before they will. And you, you don't discriminate. These hands are ready to eat for everyone. Right? Uh, no, I got my sister for that. Yeah, yeah. Any, any, <laughs> any women that want it, my sister will handle it. If, if you a man, you can get it. I don't right, care. right. I don't run from nobody. I fear God. And yeah. that's about as far as that goes. What time is it? All right. you. Yeah, I know. Our, the pre-race is about to get started here. Yeah. So. Andrew. Thank you so much for joining us on for here. Sure. Anybody that wants to follow you and wants to find out more about you other than the viral video, how can they find you online? Uh, Twitter is Flash Out Grady. Instagram is That Grady Kid. Flash and out. YouTube, uh, Dash Deep TV, and Facebook, Dash Deep TV. That's where you can keep up with us. Um, we're going to be releasing our first racing video this weekend from Tri County. Okay. Uh, hopefully, we get faster. If we don't, I'm not going to put it up. No, I'm just playing. I'm going to put it up regardless. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. hey, look, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Appreciate all. you, man. Andrew. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. Good luck. Whoop, whoop. All right. Andrew Grady. Hopefully things turn around for you today. Andrew Fuller. Yeah. I almost said Grady there. Oh, yeah, I'll hold that while you get those on. Come on down. Andrew What's Fuller? That? Yes, sir. Shoot, we closing it out with the Andrews. That's right. Yeah. Well, what's going on, man? Not much. What's going on with you guys? We're good. We're good. So you been at, you were out here helping our crew a little bit, too, this morning? Yeah, I was uh, checking them out when they were uh, doing a setup early, and they asked me to come on, so why not? Okay. All right. So what? Oh, what's your involvement with the track? You said you do pictures, right? So. Yeah, just just a photography. Photography and just chasing the race cars around in, in circles and just trying to paint the picture for the driver. Mm, okay. So you take pictures of all drivers. You're not following one specific driver around? Uh, sometimes I'll follow a couple of drivers. Most of the time I'll just have fun and shoot everyone and, and just post them out there. But sometimes I'll 
drivers will contact me to work with them and okay. come and just work with them throughout the weekend. I'm excited to see your work because I'm sure I'm, we'll be following you and everything after the, uh, you know, on Instagram and everything. How long have you been out here taking pictures and do you travel around with the car store? Or do you or do you live near here so this is the track you're always at? So I live in uh, Mooresville, North Carolina. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Moved down here uh, two years ago to chase a dream in NASCAR. Okay. And uh, kind of just been following the cars tour for so long and just going to races and as many tracks as I can. This is really the place to be. Yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm wrapping up from yeah. like talking to all these people like this is really the the car store is where it's at for real. He's been following the series for like you said for a while and um, you've grown a lot as a photographer. Like yeah. from the beginning, I feel like you you like even your equipment has changed a lot. Talk talk a little bit about that, like growing your own skill set as you pursue being more involved in motorsports. So uh, when I was like 15. I, uh, I had a camera because I was doing like high school photography class so I was just trying to get out there and learn and then uh, it was just like maybe like a $15 camera just start going to Southside Speedway which is uh, closed down now and just started shooting photos there and I didn't know anything about shutter speed, ISO. Oh my god. I didn't know anything. It's so much. Yeah. Didn't know anything so I just kind of went to other photographers, got some advice and then I was showing some drivers some shots. Hey, can I buy that photo? And I was like, dude, you can have it. Like, I, right, I don't right. know what I'm doing. Right. And then uh, for Christmas, when I was like 16, Santa brought me a camera and I was like, okay. It's Let's up. go, Santa. It's up. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I was Santa. like, cool. So got a camera, went to some other races, started like learning some YouTube videos and talked to some other photographers. YouTube University, my favorite place in the and world. And then uh, I got a, got a Nikon D3400 for christmas the following year uh my stepdad bought it and was like if you're gonna do this racing stuff you kind of gotta have a, a good camera to do it so yeah. he bought me a camera brought me two camera lenses and then uh i bought me a, a camera lens and when i was 18 i did my first nascar race for a media hey, company fine. out of tech out of uh texas so i was like man this is pretty cool to yeah, do a race and then uh i met jacqueline and uh just kind of got some advice from her and just want to have a job in NASCAR is somehow. Is Jacqueline cool? This is my first day meeting her. Dude, she's incredible. <laughs> she, 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 she seems pretty dope. She's you don't cool. have to say that just because you're on the podcast. <laughs> no, she's, she's cool. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but let everybody know where they can find you so they can keep in touch with your pictures and see all all the heat that you're dropping on Instagram or wherever you're dropping. So just let everybody know where they can find and you. And also, I'm going to throw Jacqueline in a go-kart that I got. Okay. Have a race at Millbridge. You're going to put me in your go-kart? I'll put you in it. I just yeah. got another go-kart. So oh, you have two one, now. I got two now. Yeah. Let's go. Well, That's one right. of them one of them is just chassis and body right now. Nothing else to it. So just you got to put it together. Got to put it together. All right. Okay. That's, then we have one more race. That's in like two weeks, I think. But uh, next year, we're going to have two carts, maybe. Let me know. Yeah. Bring my helmet. We still got to do pickleball, too. I've never played pickleball, but it goes down at the community center near my house. Oh, my God. They do not be playing. Pickleball <laughs> Yeah, it's, it is serious. I'm like, whoa, I didn't know it, it just took over after the last, like, the last two years. It just took over. Dude, pickleball is fun. I got to try. Fun. I just got to learn. The, it looks fun. I mean, I see the seriousness, so it's, it's got to be good. It's like good. tennis and ping pong combined. Some but, people yeah. are really aggressive about it, though. It scares Very. me. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I got some pickleball stories, but we can save that for another yeah, day. Yeah, for that. sure. Yeah, for sure. All right, where can they follow you? Oh, yeah. uh, Andrew Fuller Photography on Facebook. Instagram's uh, Andrew underscore Fuller uh, 50, I believe. Okay. And TikTok is uh, Andrew Fuller 25. Okay. Do race day vlogs and uh, photos and everything up on Facebook and wherever. Okay. Hey. All right. Well, make sure you follow them. Thank you for sitting down and thank you for helping um, helping us with the, the setup as well. Andrew Fuller. Yep. yep. Andrew I also Fuller. have merch with me. Got hats oh, yeah, and yeah. hoodies. So. Okay. Say hello. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Got a little yeah. beer spin off a little bit with it. A little bit. Little, yes. Yeah. You know, I like that. But hey, pleasure. Thank you for sitting down, yes, man. Sir. Thanks, Andrew. It's a pleasure meeting you as well. All right. Andrew Fuller, are you? <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. So. Uh, this has been fun, AJ. <sighs> it's been fun. I think Track Addicts is going to be a hit. Yes. I think this it's going to be good. a hit. We're gonna I like getting to know the drivers more and, like, this setup, being with all the fans out here, like, this yeah, is cool. Yeah, the live audience. Yes. Yeah. And Hearing. seeing their reactions. Yeah, the That's reaction. cool. <laughs> Next time, because we talked about it before, getting a, 
camera pointing out. Mm -hmm. But um, I think next time we'll do it because hopefully yeah. this isn't the last time. We got and, we can set, and we can set a mic out here too for if people have questions yeah, for Yeah, that would be cool. Too. Like yeah. a little live q and I yeah, love that. Yeah, for sure. That'd be fire. And that could definitely happen. Um, yeah, uh, we appreciate y'all. Enjoy the listen from all the races today. Uh, we don't know who the winner is yet, but you probably do by the time you hear this. So it'd be even more interesting to hear how they're talking before they get down on yeah. the racetrack. You know what I mean? But make sure y'all follow us, Track Addicts Everywhere, um, on all streaming and audio platforms and on YouTube. We'll see y'all We'll see y'all again hopefully sometime soon. Bye. Peace.